Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your lovely, awesome host, Bokusatsu, and here today we are here to review the SA Figure Arts Kamen Rider Gatchar Steam Hot Bird. This is a Japanese release and it costs around $60. To be fair, that has to be pretty valid, but still. Yeah, I have Gatchar here. The figure came out last month, but I got my hands on it this, this month, so. Yeah, I did not pre-order him, by the way. Hey, friend, friend, ask how good the figure. Well, we're gonna talk about today, about the good and the bad. And friend, gonna ask me, where do you buy this figure from? He's well, you can buy the U.S. release right now on Tokyo Electric Balls and Big Bad Toy Store. <laughs> it's not available on Amazon until like next month in May. And uh, the Japanese release is available every, uh, like on every Japanese website, retail website. Amiami, Mandarake. Uh, I know he's on Amazon Japan for sixty. Uh, Hobby Link Japan, uh, Hobby Genki, Ninin Games, any like any like Japanese website you buy your imports from, he's on there. So anyway, yeah, uh, got charts here. I got a lot of things to say. Good and some bad. But mostly more good than bad. And friendly, yes, I do have Comrade Voldemort, Comrade Majay, Comrade Legend, and a regular Voldemort on pre order. <laughs> I have all the Gotcha figures on pre order. It's funny though, I'm more excited for those figures than, than I was for the Geeks figure arts. I don't know. That's just me. So, so. Uh, so let's go on talk about uh, the high school protagonist himself, Inosuke Hotoro. Not my favorite protagonist in com in uh, Reiwa. He's not bad. He he not that he's not like bad or anything. He's just not my favorite. So uh, this is how far his arms goes up, which is actually pretty good because uh, the revised figure. The Revy figure had an issue that I feel like Tomashi messed up on that he cannot put his arms up that far, but Gotchar can. You just gotta be careful, make sure that make sure that these parts not interact with the helmet, cause well you not want you not want to break that not whatsoever. This is how far his arm well arm sorry, this is how far his legs go up. Oop. Oop. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, boy. This is how far his legs go from here. Oh yeah, by the way, a fun little, a fun little tick bit, tip bit. Uh, well, play with him. Apparently, uh, you can take well, you can take well this off. But you gotta be careful because this thing popped. Because this thing popped off when I was when I was posing him doing his like doing uh doing like the traditional rider kick. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I love the detail for this guy. From the suit and from, from the suit as well. From the posability articulation. Man, Tomashi is really good. Now, my friends did tell me that there's an issue with, with this figure. That it may on their copies. And uh that's the belt. For some reason, the belt look a little look look uh, a little how can I say this? Unstraight. No worry, my copy's fine. But uh it's just kinda it's just it's just kinda weird, that's all. Because the belt was the belt the belt was not like touring touring to touring to the right direction for them, for their figure. Don't worry, my copy is not like that, so we're all good. But yeah, I do see it. It do look a little bit janky. If you look at it. I don't know. That's that's just how I see it, but yeah. Also, if anyone know, well, if anyone know, yes, yes, 
you can't pop his head back. But at the same time, this is how far his this this is how far his neck goes. Yeah, he's pretty limited. Mainly mainly due to the scarf piece right there, but yeah. But I have a feeling that actually should upgrade probably make a neck pe a neck peg for him. Cause they, once they do that, I will probably get one. I don't know. Never, I never did an SHF upgrade mod with a neck peg, and, yeah, and that seemed kind of scary. But that's just me. But yeah, though, uh, he looked pretty good. And for and I'm gonna ask about I'm gonna ask about the scarf. It's cloth, but it's not. It won't get in the way like like capes do for uh for certain figures. Talk about you, Jaku Dragon. <laughs> Do not like that figure, not one bit. Well, I sold them a long time ago, so I'm all good, but yeah. And yeah, he looks all good. And just to talk about the chrome. Oh, wait, so. I want to compare his chrome to metal coolers. If you look at the chrome difference between both of them, Metal Coolers is slightly way more annoying. You can, well, well, you can see my, you can see me right there. Hello, that's me waving my hands. But Metal Coolers chrome is way more annoying than uh, well, Gachar. Gachar's Gachar's chrome isn't isn't all that bad. But uh, Coolers on the other hand, oh boy, when I first got the figure. He was sli he was silky. What I mean by that is that he was silky as freak, and also he was glittering too on my copy. I don't know, kind of I don't know what Bandai was doing for doing that. I get it; they were trying to make him all premium and all that. But at the same time, uh, be real, he should be costing almost two hundred dollars on P Bandai. Yes, I know he was one twenty, but still. I pay well. I pay well hundred dollars on mine on buy, but still, he should be almost two hundred. <laughs> Fuck, on freaking premium Bandai. That's just, that. That's just that's just pure greediness in my opinion. But yeah, back to saying, Chrome difference wise, yeah, no, Cooler's way more. Cooler's way more annoying than Gachar. Gachar, Gachar is not that bad. Great at the same time, Tomashi did paint his Chrome a metallic blue, which is, which is. Which is good because the chrome is not reflecting that much on the figure on like a well chrome dome over here. So yeah, but still. Alright, let's move on. So we're gonna go on to a Alright, so we're gonna go on to accessories now. Yeah, we got we got like a lot. No well, not a lot, but but you know what I mean. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> damn, damn, that was fast. Oh, the dude, the dude. <laughs> to see it. Alright, so I'll look for that later. So let's uh, look at so let's go look at Gacha. We have his gun. <laughs> now you see Gacha come with another accessory, well two more, but at the same time you have to go buy regular Voderad and Majay for them. He comes with a freaking like watch he cut. He come. He come with a freaking like watch gun, 
you know, you got pre you got pre order my jade for, for that for that accessory piece, and for bow and arrow, you gotta go pre order you gotta go pre order and buy a freaking uh regular voter ad for that. Now I have both of them pre order, so I'm all good. But yeah, nice work, Tomashi. <laughs> to be fair, this is kind of what I'm saying. I'm not surprised. But yeah, this gun, uh, gun, this, this is actually really detailed. I ain't gonna lie. Holy crap. We have my boy's iconic hands for his freaking getcha pose. <laughs> And we have a, and we have, we had two fists, well, actually two, uh, weapon holding hands for, like, any weapon he holds. The bow and arrow when Volred comes out, and the gun, and, uh, the mini gun watch that Majid comes with. And we come with two open hands. That's only common, actually, no, no, he doesn't. Now he cut he come with two of these, but uh the other one's freaking missing. Second time this happened to me by the way, and yeah, I kept all the accessories in the box. But yeah. He comes with he come with two of these relaxing that you first get from over the figure. And yeah, though that those are all the accessories Mr. Gatchard comes with. So <laughs> boy. Now it's on to size comparison. And uh since Legends coming out in a couple of months from now. I don't have now at the time of the recording. I did not have legend, so we're gonna do the next best thing. We're gonna we are gonna use the goat himself, decayed. And since I have decayed here, I might as well. Here's for his zeal. Oh. <laughs> oh, great one. Uh, oh, yeah, what, what, what wonderful. Can you just stand for a second, uh, Sogo? Oh, I'm a bear. He's standing pretty well with both of them. If I, if anyone got to ask me, well, actually, that's the one with the king, you goddamn. Shut up, I do not care. Anyway. Here we have Cross Evolt. Yes, I still have the figure. I never did review him. I'm probably, I'm probably not going to. And uh, I do have the SJSF upgrade skirt on him. Hey there for Sabella. Sabella, Sabella, Reka. My girl, hell yeah. <laughs> anyway. Alright, he's doing pretty well with both of them. <laughs> so here 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 for some Dragon Ball figure arts. With uh, M U I Omen Goku, Bum, do, do, do. aka Ultra Drip Stink Goku. And here he is with Cooler, the Metal Cooler, who I just like compare him to talk about the Chrome and all that. Yeah, and the Metal Cooler, Metal Cooler, a bit more shorter. <laughs> Yeah, he's staying pretty well with both of them, to be honest. That's actually pretty good. And, uh... Just because... Uh, just because they just had, that, like, a freaking crossover movie as well last year... Here, here, with, with, with Mark 9 Laser Boost Geats, 
you know, the Gotcha and Geets movie. Here he is with Tycoon and Buffer as well. That's an album cover. <laughs> but for real, this is pretty cool. I love this. This is uh, whew, pretty sexy. Oh, God. Also, fun fact, both these two say, share the same suit actor. In, the, in uh, Geech and Gotchart. Alright. Overall, besides that, what do I think? Uh, Alright. Now, <laughs> I understand that Gotchart is not a lot of people's favorite right now. It's honestly, and honestly, I'm okay with that. That's all fair. It is slightly getting better. And, uh, well, very soon, Legend's gonna appear in the show. I mean, literally, he actually is. Dude's gonna appear very soon and, uh, show off his new final form that I did not like. And I stand by the fact saying that I think it's way ugly. I stand by the fact thinking that it's way ugly than Complete 21. But that's just me. But, oh, well, yeah, what, what, what do I think about Gotchar the figure? If you like Gotchar, well, I'll say go get him. He's he's a must. Good articulation, good post building and all that. The chrome, not that bad as coolers, which is fine. The driver, the driver is a little wonky, not want to stay in one place. The head, the, the head is limited for articulation, which is okay, fine. But yeah, at the same time, you can pose him to do like any pose you want. Just be careful. Don't try to break his helmet because it's a little bit fragile. And, uh, yeah, no, that's basically it. Besides that, he's, besides that, he's still a good figure. I like it. I, yeah, yeah, no, the more I play with him, the more I pose him, I like the figure way more than Geets. Because I remember, I remember, I remember Gotcha got announced for figure art. A lot of people had the concerns about Gotcha because the first, I'm not gonna lie, the first half of the show was boring as heck. It was super boring, no lie. The first chapter of the show was, but Gotcha got, but Gotcha, Gotcha got better after that, which is pretty good. I uh, yes, I know there's like a freaking uh, right, a freaking like uh change in like writing staff production whatever but still I I and to my fair on I, I know nothing about a, a, about the new like a new the new freaking writing staff but yeah uh oh uh, yeah thank you all for watching Again, gotcha is a good figure. If you like the show, okay, fair enough. I recommend buying him, but at the same time, if you, same time, uh, if you, same time, if you don't live in the U.S., just go hunt down Japanese version right now, but if you do live in the U.S., he, his U.S. release is available on Big Bad Toy Store and on Top Collectibles, but if you like using Amazon, he comes out on Amazon, regular Amazon, in May next month. But yeah, Thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. I mean, literally, follow all my social in the description. And uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs this year. And we guys, and we, you guys can help. We can do that. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Comment down below who's your favorite character from God Shark. Again, mine is Voldorad. I, I, I'm, it's hard for me to explain. I just think he's a dope character. He gets way too much hate, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description. Put the notification button on for my next video. And, yeah, till next time, guys. Peace. 
watch, uh, enjoy my pictures, and yeah, I'm out. Bye-bye.